A submarine sub is a special kind of vessel that is built to operate both below and above the water surface. Then it's capable of independent operations, wet submerged under the sea for extended periods. These vessels are primarily used for military operations, but it also has a strong scientific focus and can travel to depth that is inaccessible to humans. The first person to construct a vessel that would sink in a water was a German named Cornelis Drebel, and his work served on the foundation for the history of the submarines. The vessel, which has a 4.5 meter depth, was constructed to resemble a rowing boat and was covered in a leather. David Bushnell, an American inventor who created submarines for use in the American War of the Independence, came next. These submarines were being created with increasing frequency throughout time using steam, gasoline and batteries. Modern submarines have an elliptical bow and stern with an extended cylindrical body in the middle. From a design perspective, this is not the best shape because it increases fuel expenses. However, the convenience of the ability of creating the submarine more than makes up for the higher fuel cost spent over the course of its lifetime. Additionally, this design provides more room and makes it simple to build many decks. The length of a submarine is directly related to the cross-section diameter of the submarine. The usage of the hull volume is improved by dividing the pressure hull volume into many decks. The maximum number of the decks that can be built depends on the submarine's diameter. The most important parts of a submarine Pressure hull Modern submarines often have two hulls, an exterior hull and an interior pressure hull. The inner hull is known as the pressure hull because it is made to withstand the high hydrostatic pressure that a submarine experiences when submerging underwater to great depth. Battery packs, crew quarters, machinery to control room for communications, weapons and a weapon control system are all hosted in the inner pressure hull. The outer hull is enclosed by the pressure hull. The submarine's ballast tanks and other tanks are located in the gap between the outer and the inner holes when it is submerged. Ballast tanks filled with the seawater, while the submarine is submerged, underwater results in minimal hydrostatic pressure on the exterior shell. Tough steel or titanium is used to construct the hulls of submarines that require toughness.
ballast and trim. Between the outer and inner hulls, some spaces can be filled with either air or water. Along with the dive plants, some of these chambers are employed in ballast tanks, which aid in the submarine's buoyancy management. Ballast tanks are useful when diving into the ocean for the first time or while ascending to the surface after a dive. The size of the submarine determines how many ballast tanks are needed. All depth and trim techniques are applied when a submarine performs emergency surfacing, along with a lifting the vessel upward. Due to how quick the surface occurs, the submarine may even partially spring out of water, possibly causing damage into its systems. Tower. Earlier submarine used the tower to house the periscope radar, communication center, etc. Today's submarines have moved the majority of these to the hull. The tower serves as a vertical stabilizer for the submarine when it is submerged. In modern submarines, the tower is employed as a viewing platform when it is above the water surface and some are also designed to support the hydroplanes. Hydroplane. Finlay diving planes or hydroplanes are found on submarines. The wings are the control features of an aircraft that aids in producing on an upward push are somehow similar to those of the diving fins. The ability of the diving planes to tilt allow the submarine to vary its lift, enabling to ascend or descend to great depth. The majority of the time, dive planes are used to control the submarine's depth. The tilt angle of the planes and the submarine speed would affect how much lift the submarine produces. Rolling and a pitching are controlled using hydroplanes. When moving, the two hydroplanes on the aft are used to change the submarine's direction. Rudders are another name for those hydroplanes.
power supply. Submarines are outfitted with diesel engines that burn fuel or nuclear reactors that employ nuclear fission to provide this power. Batteries are used by submarines to power their electrical systems. Batteries are frequently used to power electrical devices. And electricity from a diesel engine or nuclear reactor is utilized to charge the batteries. The batteries may be the only source of electrical power for the submarine in emergencies. Most hybrid submarines have diesel engines that can power generators that recharge a huge battery bank on the propellers. Alternatively, they can operate in a tandem, with one engine powering a generator and the other a propeller. To use the diesel engines, the sub must surface. The sub can enter the water after the batteries are fully charged. Electric motors operating the propellers are powered by batteries. The only way a diesel sub can submerge is throughout battery operation. The duration of a diesel sub can stay submerged and greatly limited by the limitation of the battery technology. Because of these battery restrictions, it was realized that using nuclear power in a submarine had many advantages.